Right, so today I'm filming what I've got in my uni bag because I recently bought this bag from Meadow Hall. <laughs> Tom's, looking, Tom's next to me, by the way, if you hear any noises. Recently got this bag from Meadow Hall. I did have a brown bag before this one and literally ripped it completely to shreds because I've had it for like five years. My Auntie Carol did, actually did she buy me that one? I think she did. But it was such a long time ago, I can't remember. So I decided to go to Primark and buy another one. The reason why I wanted to go to Primark and not anywhere else was because I just, they just last well for me personally. And I know that the majority of the population will probably disagree with that and say, actually, no, they don't last well at all. The straps break or whatever. But I find a bag that looks sturdy, that I just think that's good and that's what I've got today so this is my new bag it's black which is you know good because it goes with everything and it looks very simple and I like to go for quite simple things so I went for this one and it's got like little chainy pieces here but I'll show you the bag first because it's a new bag by the way I only ever do what's in my bags videos when I've bought a new bag I don't like to just do one randomly but this is a what is in my uni bag and I've never done that before. So yeah, um, it's got like these chains so you can like hear me like when I'm walking into lectures and stuff. <laughs> I know. Um, and then it's actually, so it's got these two straps here so you can like wear it over your shoulder like that which is what I tend to do. Or there's the long strap here which you can wear and adjust and all that sort of stuff like again over your shoulder or you know across your body, whatever. And then as we get it into the bag, as you can see, it's a zipper, oh my God, on the top. My previous bag didn't have a zip, which meant that, you know, you could get mugged in town or something. So not great, but you could. Somebody could slip their hand into your bag and take something out. Anyone can mug you, dear. Yeah, I mean, but somebody could easily steal something from you yeah. without you realizing it. Yeah. So the first things that I have in here are actually two notepads. This first one is like more of a new one. This is actually from Morrison's, so. If you really want this notepad to go to Morrison's it's three pounds got some nice lined paper and yeah I tend to get through paper quite quickly because I'm making notes and lectures and stuff like that so this is what I've got first of all and then I do have another one of those because it's full up like I did actually fill this up completely but I thought I would include it oh sorry I thought I'd keep this in my bag just simply because I might need it at some point, like I might need a page or something or I might think, oh what did I do three weeks ago and look back at this. So I've still got that in my bag for now. And then I've got my pencil case, how exciting. Now I'm glad I'm filming this video because I'm about to take out these notepads, uh, notepads, what are they called? Sticky notes, notes. post-it notes. I'm going to take them out because I'm going to throw them away because they've got to-do lists on them because I like to write to-do lists. But I'll talk about that in a second. If you want a video on how I make a to-do list or how I keep on top of uni stuff or organisation, please let me know because I like to do that. But we've got these sticky notes. So this is my like to-do list thingy, my calculator, and then just a selection of pens and a ruler and a rubber. Yeah, different coloured pens. I think it is good at uni to have different coloured pens because obviously you're writing in one colour and then you might want to draw a diagram in a different colour or make notes on top of notes and stuff like that or underline things. So it's good to have different colours. Um, I do have to say I don't have a pencil so that's probably something that I should get. And then I have this which is a slightly smaller notepad but this is actually kind of like my to-do list writing notepad or if I've got any like videos I want to film I'll write them in here or any work I need to do or scrap notes anything like that or just pieces of paper I get given randomly um so I'm just going to try and find what I've been doing recently oh yeah this is what I write my daily to-do lists on so here are my daily to-do lists so that's one day next day next day and then the next day there so I do like to say what time I need to get up when my lectures are just write it all down so that if I'm out and about and I forget where my lectures are I don't have to go on my timetable on my phone I can just look in this notepad that kind of thing I write the specific times that I do everything on again if you want me to do a video on this I will so I won't go in, into it too much but yeah it's very specific but I like to do it because I do this usually if I go to the library I'll do this in the library the day before and it just means that when I wake up in the morning I just know what what's going to happen in the day and it's almost like overnight your, your mind's thinking about it. I do know that there was, this is scientifically proven and there was a, like a scientific investigation on this that if you write to-do list before you go to sleep the next day you are a lot more organised and 
you know, mentally you're just there. You know what you're doing. You don't even have to look at your list. You already know what's on it sort of thing. So I would recommend doing that. But what I tend to do so that I know what work to do, I write a little list on this post-it note. A little checklist and I like to have the little boxes to tick because then when you tick them you feel like you've got a lot done and yeah I write them down in order of when they need doing that kind of thing say if I've had a lecture or seminar or something I will then immediately after that write it down here and say go over the notes from that lecture or do the homework for that lecture or something like that so it's quite easy to keep on top of um, and that's basically what this notepad is there for so it is quite a handy little guy to be honest I don't have too much in here by the way just to let you know oh and then i have this which is actually my accounting um thingy now i missed a few seminars before christmas for accounting so i want to go back over those seminars so that's why i've got this work in here so that i can go back over it and like do it when i've got some time but all is good and then i do also have this which is a sudoku book thingy what is in that oh i know what's in that right this is basically obviously like you've probably all heard of sudokus but i just love doing them like if you're ever bored or you don't know what to do or there's just i don't know you're watching tv or you're watching a youtube video and sometimes i can sit and watch a video and i'm just feel like i need to do something at the same time so sometimes i'll go on my phone or i'll eat or do my makeup i can't just sit and watch this is perfect to do whilst you're sitting and watching that um so yeah got these little guys to do so i've not done many of them but yeah they're always in my bag just in case i get stranded somewhere and then i've got my purse which is here steph bought me this um i believe from primark absolutely years ago it shows literally no sign of wear doesn't it tom it doesn't look like it's been worn down really at all no. i've literally had this for like five years or something stupid and it looks still in great condition so i'm just there's no point in buying another one um but in here i've got my health insurance card i've got my bingo card a card for yarborough leisure center which i don't need anymore um my organ donor card and a little bit of change you're an organ donor yes i am wow i sign up to organ down because it's vital no, it is yes yeah, it is um yeah i when i um went to do my provision to get my provisional driving license the option was to be an organ donor and you could choose what organs you'd want to donate when you die Obviously, donate did i say don't <laughs> you said organs to donate <laughs> sorry organs to donate um i decided just to donate whatever anybody wanted so yes i will donate any of my organs yeah Thank you very much. Um, I'm not that kind of person that believes that you need your body for an afterlife. I don't even believe in afterlife. So you can take whatever you want You're going and use to go it for somebody else. You can live in somebody else's body. It's just great. You're going so, to go to hell. Okay. Oh, and if they want to do a brain transplant, uh, then they're Good very luck. welcome to try. Good luck. You won't find anything in there. <laughs> And then finally in here, actually I don't know if it is finally, but I've also got a hairbrush because you never know when you might need to brush your hair. And then another pen. And then I did have my keys in here. I think I do. Oh yeah. I've got my keys and I'm actually going to, Tom, could you pass me that little guy over there? Oh. And the receipt as well. Basically me and Tom went to the gym yesterday. We bought a monthly membership and they give me this little scanny thing um, just so that you can let yourself in. We was gonna go today, but we don't really have time because Tom's bum hole friends are coming over. I'm joking, I like them. Thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to the gym. Yeah, so that's going to be in my bag as well. In fact, I'll probably put them on my keys. This is my house keys. And then I have a mirror. Oh, and I also have a nail varnish. Pink nail varnish from Jack Wills. And then this here. So pretty goddamn exciting if I do say so myself. So yeah. So I think that's pretty much everything in this bag. There's not a ridiculous amount in the bag because, you know, who needs to excess? But this is what it looks like. I'm really, really happy with it. It's perfect size. It fits my laptop in it and everything. It's very sturdy. I will let you know if it breaks. I've only had it for like a week or so, but I doubt it's going to break. And if it does, you'll be the first to know. So thanks for watching this video. And I will do more uni videos on my channel because I know that that's what everybody wants to see. Um, sadly, but they do. So I will. And any questions?
me. Oh, by the way, this bag was £12, so absolute bargain. I'm not a designer handbag person. I will never buy a designer handbag. I do not believe in buying designer handbags, but if you want to buy one, go ahead. Thank you. Goodbye.